I want to get more views on YouTube. So why do some videos flow better on YouTube than others? What are they doing that I'm not? When I first started out on YouTube, I would uh, get an idea. I would go out with my camera and I would start shooting. Basically, my entire preparation was getting the idea. I would assume that inspiration would take hold and I would shoot this magnificent masterpiece of a video that I could then upload to YouTube. This wasn't to be. Most of them ended up starting out with a great idea and then basically not really going anywhere. So while creating on the fly seems like a really good idea and it seems some YouTubers can pull this off flawlessly, that's not how it was for me. I'm guessing most likely it's not how it is for you either. Basically, I'd always forget something. Usually the call to action. I would completely forget to ask you to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified about future videos. By the way, like, subscribe, ring the bell, you know the spiel. Um, if you don't like the video, it's okay, dislike it, that's fine too. God dang it, why am I always interrupted by something when I'm on a flow and it's working well for me? My headset just beep beeped. Give me one sec, let's see. Low battery, stand by. Arizona green tea. Whew, love that Arizona green tea. My videos would always end up without compelling content. It's not that the ideas were bad, it's just that the story didn't move along well and people would lose interest pretty much right off the bat. I'd get maybe a minute or two in and people would be gone. So the real issue was that I wasn't planning out my videos. I wasn't deciding what was going to happen in my videos and I wasn't basically scripting out the flow of the video. So I would end up jumping all over the place and none of it would make any sense and people would be very confused and get bored. I mean, I'd get bored, wouldn't you get bored? I guess I would start out strong. The idea would be good and I'd be moving along and then I'd get to a point with a bit of a lull in the story and be like, um, well, uh, next thing you know, story's gone, I'm rambling on about who knows what, absolutely off topic, and have just the worst footage to work with when I'm done. So what did I do to fix this problem? Well, quite frankly, I started planning out my videos. I started figuring out how I wanted the thing to flow from beginning to end, what the opening would look like, what the story would be like, what I wanted to talk about in the video, and I started putting that down in a document so that I could keep track of what I wanted to do. How do you plan YouTube videos? My process starts with an idea. Everybody's process starts with an idea. Basically just, what am I gonna make a video about? What do I wanna make a video about? What, what do I think you're gonna like watching? So I usually kick this idea around for a while agonizing about you know how terrible it is and, and, and how nobody's gonna wanna watch it. After a while, I start to get used to the idea. And I'm like, oh, this is a pretty good idea. And then I agonize some more and, and so on and so forth. I'm sure you've all been there. We've all done this. After I get past this period of, of self-doubt and wondering, I start searching around on YouTube for the topic that I want to make. I want to see what kind of competitions out there. I want to see what kind of keywords are going to come into play. I basically want to get a feel for what other people have done in this area and is it worth my time to create something here? Can I add value? Can I bring something that you actually want to see? So once I'm pretty happy that there's stuff for me to film and there's a topic to cover, I create a document. So I've actually created a template that I use and I fill it out step by step kind of figuring out how I want the whole story to work. Why don't we jump into the computer and take a look at that. All right, so let's hop on into the script document. I've got the uh, script document here in this folder right next to my actual script for this guy. So this is the template. Open that right up. So my script document starts with the episode number. In this case, we're at episode five. It's the fifth uh, YouTube tutorial that I'm making. Next is the target length of the video. Uh, it was defaulted to 10, but I like to, I like to make videos around 10 to 14 minutes long. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and update that for this one. The length is gonna be 12 minutes. Now this is not a fixed length. This is more of a guesstimate of what I'm shooting for. So when I'm writing my document, I kinda know how I wanna do this. I know how, how long each segment's gonna take. Next is the video name. Get more views. Get more views on your YouTube video by planning the content. 
I might go with get more views on YouTube. I haven't decided yet. But let's go ahead and put that in. All right, there we go. I actually copied pasted that from the live document that I'm using for this video. During the planning phase of the video, uh, the name's gonna change. I and mean, that's just the, the nature of the beast. I may decide that this isn't the way that I want it to be. I try to keep the name of the video pretty much consistent just because I wanna add, I wanna, I wanna talk about that video during the actual filming of the video so that uh, it kind of matches up when YouTube uh, listens to the video, when the algorithm scrubs through the video and, and finds those keywords. I wanted to find the name of the video, get more views, get more views on your YouTube video by planning the content. So if I, if I emphasize those words and I actually say it in my video, YouTube's gonna pick that up and they're going to incorporate that into the search algorithm. So it's gonna enhance my chances. So once I've decided on a name, I'll copy and paste that name as is into my description because I really want my description to mirror my video's name at the beginning. And this is gonna enhance uh, the keywords again when you're typing in those keywords. If, I, if my keyword, my first keyword is get more views and someone types in get more views, it's gonna highlight get more views in the header uh, in the in the video name and it's also going to highlight that in the video description after that i'm going to add the actual description or, or more detailed description of what i wanted to read in this case it's going to be planning my content has changed my channel so let's say we're going to do something like planning planning my my content has changed my channel and it's helped me feel more in control of where this video is going. Check the description of the video and see how well it turned out and how close I got. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna look at is some of the tags that I wanna use. Now, I've already done some research on these, and uh, what I really wanna do is I wanna use the, the first few words of my description and my, my video name as my primary tag. It's gonna be the main tag of the video. I want this in right at the top. Next, I'm gonna add some different, uh, different tags, like one of the tags that I really wanna use in all of my YouTube beginner tutorials is the YouTube channel, YouTube, YouTube, that doesn't look right. YouTube, tube, tube, channel tutorial for beginners. I think this is a, a sort of a key phrase for any of my beginner tutorials. I wanna put in how to, 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 to mm, plan YouTube videos. Uh, maybe how I plan you to videos. All right, and I'm not gonna bore you with all of these, but you get the gist. So I, I figure out my tags and I start plugging them into my document. Okay, so now we're getting to the more interesting things. So I like to kind of start my videos with a question and or, or just an opening statement right so it's it's kind of like it's setting the scene for the video it's setting the ideas for the video so in this case i'm going to put in the description that i planned for this video it didn't work out exactly the way i planned but it's not about being exactly like what you plan it's about planning in general so that you can get to a, a, a flow a progression that goes forward in your video and doesn't stagnate or or, or split off into some other variant so in this case, I wanted to start with um, the statement, I want to get more views. I want to get more views. I really do want to get more views. So that's absolutely true. So the next thing I had in there is, so why do some videos seem to flow better than others on YouTube? And I think I kind of captured that in my opening. Uh, what are they doing that I'm not doing? When I first started out making videos, I would come up with a loose idea of what I wanted to do. And then hoped inspiration would take me to what I need 
to make a great video. So that's basically the ideas that I had as to what I wanted in my opening. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stick to this 100%. In fact, I doubt I'm very close at all. I, mean, I'm, I'm, I probably have these elements in there. They're more like a guideline for me so that my thoughts stay on track. And that's kind of what I put into my opening question or, or my opening or the question. My next step is to create the story. Now I like to put these, uh, these click like, subscribe and ring the bell into each section of my video, just to remind me that I should be asking you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if in fact you want to be notified about future videos. So you know, do all those things. So one of the things that I'm going to figure out when I'm doing this story is, first of all, where do I want to shoot it? So I put in these little location tags, just like this. And that's going to be something I'm going to fill out, right? So where am I going to shoot the story? Well, in this case, I'm shooting it at my desk, right? Because we're, we're, we're working with the computer, so at my desk works fine. So this is just office desk. That works for me, right? So that's where I'm going to shoot this. If I wanted to shoot the opening in a different location, like for example, let's say I wanted to shoot it outside or in my car or wherever, I could put that here. So let's say uh, in car driving, and maybe not driving, in car. How's that? I don't think I should shoot too much while driving unless I'm using my GoPro, right? All right, so once I've kind of got my, my story idea down, I kind of script out kind of what I want to do. Now, I'm not going to script it at 100% the way that I think it should flow. What I'm really going to put in here is more ideas that I want to talk about. So in the video that we're currently seeing, what I put into my story as an opening was, so while creating on the fly seems like a great idea, and it seems some creators can actually make that work for me, and I'm guessing most of you, it's just not quite like that. So for each piece that you create, and my story is going to go on for quite a bit. So uh, let me paste this in so you get an idea of, of what I have here. So after I ask for the call of action, I might start talking a little bit about the videos, uh, what's compelling content and why my content wasn't compelling when I was jumping all over the place. This is sort of getting into the details of what I did to change how this all worked and why I came up with my document in the first place. Okay, so in this video, the next step was I was going to open my document, which we've done, and talk about the different sections of the document. Um, I think we've pretty much covered most of that already. So here is the last piece that I put in, and I put in more than this, obviously. One of the things that I would put into the storyline is maybe some bullet points of what I wanted to talk about. So in this case, let me just copy these in. Uh, in this case, I added a few bullet points that kind of outlines some of the ideas that I want to talk about. So my script document, uh, what it is, how it starts, how I number them, uh, the fact that they're 10 minutes long as a default, and I switch up to 12 or whatever I want to do with it. So basically just kind of a list of stuff that I'm going to talk about. The next step is the conclusion. So in the conclusion, I like to put in kind of the, the closing hammered in what, what the idea of the video is. So in this case, the conclusion is if you start planning and really take your time before you turn on your camera, I'm guaranteeing you'll make a better video. And better videos lead to more views, which is what we're all looking for. And more subscribers and more fun for your viewers. Better videos are just better for everyone. So I like to add an ending to all of my videos and in my endings, I'm going to do a call to action. So click like, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching. And that's basically it for this video. Catch you on the next one. Planning, planning my, my content.